I'm at Gusman Honda in Appleton, looking at what they have on the lot. Um, you kind of see there is definitely some empty space, but uh, they have well, more than uh, the Toyota lots have. Uh, pretty much everybody has a uh, oversupply of uh, mid-sized SUVs. So Honda, definitely known for their uh, CRV, HRV, <laughs> uh, a little over use of le letters. Um, I, I I think the uh, HRV is a really good buy right now. I like the new style. Um, I'd seen uh, Doug Demiro's review of it showing the uh i think it was him that did it showing how much room in the back seat because that was the problem with a lot of them is you just couldn't fit in there but i mean uh, 2025 window sticker basically a 30 grand uh a relatively short maneuverable i mean decent mileage not great i think this could uh, definitely do with the hybrid I think that's actually their big uh, downfall with the uh, HRV is the lack of a hybrid. Uh, the Civic I understand is doing much better this year. I think it's because the uh, Civic price point compared to the Accord, you're just not getting that much more for the Accord. So when you go to shop, you end up with a Civic if you're comparing apples to apples. Like looking down the line, I mean, you can kind of tell where the Accords start. That's pretty much just uh, the distance between the uh, back bumper and the back wheel. The rest of it looks about the same. In the Civic, I really like the uh, hatchback. Anytime you can uh, get a little more in there, it can be a little more useful. 35 miles a gallon, less than 30 grand. I mean, the Civic is really nice. Front end isn't that much different. At one time, the Civic was definitely the uh, smaller little uh, Econo box. That just doesn't seem to be the case. They've gotten bigger and bigger. I do believe the Civic is now bigger than what the Accord once was. On the Pilot, definitely has a nice look to it. Got the Trail Sport. I guess I've always liked Hondas. I've had a Honda four-wheeler for uh, decades at this point. 20 miles to the gallon. The Honda four-wheeler has been just very impressive. I mean, obviously a different group of people building the uh, four-wheelers compared to building the uh, cars. Yeah, I guess those are, are there's some used mixed over there. Oh, we'll get there. I wish the Accord came in a hatchback. Not quite as much room. I mean, 31,000? Coming out of Ohio, so I mean, it's got some less content. What year are these? 2024. We've got some 2024s. All right, let's take a look at the CRVs. Full front row of CRVs. So we'll definitely have some of those to uh, get rid of yet. Oh, well, this is a 2025. Yeah, that's really nice. I like the front end. Everybody's going with a flatter front end. Well, then they've really, they've updated it. The headlights are getting smaller with the use of the LEDs. The Honda is definitely uh, reliable, durable, good resale value. Similar to Toyota in many ways. To me, the Honda is also often what you get if you just don't want a Toyota because all your friends have a Toyota going to be just a little bit different you can find something in a honda if you want to spend a little more something in an acura but look across that front row I mean, if you know what you're looking for uh you can tell the uh civics from the accords but there's not a lot of difference in the uh dark gray civic next to the light gray accord even like look at the roof heights and the widths. And the uh, cord is bigger, but not a lot bigger. And notice they've, well, I think they've only got, oh, they do have a few more uh, HRVs. A little bit of selection HRVs, but definitely have more CRVs. 
very the same as the other manufacturers. They're trying to push the uh, more expensive vehicles. Light grays and dark grays. I like the uh, black leather with the orange stitching. That's sharp. 37 miles to the gallon. And the hybrid, 40 grand. Compared to some of the luxury models, uh, the, the Honda makes more sense. Your resale is going to be better. Your reliability is going to be better. And maybe you're just embarrassed to be seen somewhere with a Honda. I'm not sure. Although I'm not sure what kind of friends you have if you're embarrassed to be seen with a certain kind of car of an electric. All right. Uh, Honda Ridgeline. This is kind of a vehicle in its own class. Maybe the Santa Fe is similar. But it's just not... Uh, I mean, pickup people won't call it a pickup. A lot of people will call it a pickup, but looks like 40,000. 42,500. I can't even see that. 21 miles to the gallon. That's the, uh, that must be the Sports. Yeah, the Sports. The sports got the cloth. This is the Trail Sport, so their version of off road, which is probably just meteor tires. I mean, I don't think I would plan to take this thing off-roading. I mean, it'd be nice to have the four-wheel drive and be able to pull a trailer. I thought these guys could pull 5,000 pounds so they can pull a little bit of a trailer. I mean, for most people, this is all the truck you need. You don't need a big truck. Although it's not that much cheaper than a big truck, so sometimes you buy what uh, makes sense to buy price-wise. Apparently nobody's picking up the uh, white HRVs. So they do have the uh, Civic traditional trunk or with the hatchback. Sport Touring. Most brands, Touring is the high end. No, 32, come on to Indiana. $400 service fee, I don't see any other add-ons. All right, let's wander down by the uh, used ones to see what they have. See if there's anything uh, that stands out. I, don't, I really like these Accords. I've, I've got a 2008 Accord that I still drive. Only reason I get rid of it is because everybody asks me when I'm going to get rid of that thing. But I've never had a problem with it. It's got well over 100,000 miles. Owes you nothing basically. Yeah, 2024, 20,000. I'm very reasonable. Oddly, I wouldn't mind a uh, station wagon of a Honda Accord. Alright, what do we got over here? New Santa Fe. 2022. Dodge. It's like HRV that just came in and a CRV that must have just came in. So these all must be vehicles that just came in. Oh, it looks like. Oh, I see pilots. I'm not sure if I see pilots and passports. I almost got to look close to know which ones are pilots and which ones are passports. Oh, these are all sold. These all have names in them. Why haven't they delivered them? Well, it just came in. Look at all of them that are sold sitting here waiting to be delivered. That is crazy. So they definitely have the uh, list kind of like uh, Toyota does, where uh, the cars are coming and sold. But it is weird that they're not uh, delivered, that they're still sitting here. Unless they just got a truckload in and they haven't uh, got the paperwork done. All right, walking across the used Civic. See, there are 27 for a used one. Just get a new one. When you get close to the price of a new one, just get a new one. You never know if these something happened to these or why they got rid of them. 
And yeah, you can do your research. Carfax will tell you some stuff. Ah, see, this is the old uh, HRV. And I just like the new one. Body sells so much more. A little blockier. It's like this. See, I mean, you're almost to the price of a new one. Twenty seventeen, a little bit older. Let's see, pilot, pilot. And if you get enough of a discount, yeah, I'd go for the used. But when the price runs close to new, you definitely want to get new. Just not have that uh, risk. In the Hondas, a lot of times you're not getting that much off uh, by a used. So, whenever you're looking at used cars, make sure you compare to new, just to make sure. Honda is definitely a, a good option, good choice. I've never had trouble. I mean, I'm sure there is uh, some problems they run into, and they uh, Honda doesn't cover everything. Although, I mean, your, your basic SUV family car, I mean, the CRV is highly sought after. Um, Accord is a good sedan. And then you've got your in-between vehicles and your smaller vehicles. Um, Pilot with a large SUV, which actually has got some decent space in it. And then you got the ridge line, so relatively full line of vehicles. And that's what we got for uh, Gusman Honda in Appleton.